Hello and welcome to the 12th video in the PHP e-commerce series. My name is Curtis and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to add the functionality to delete and edit our categories <clears throat> and then our categories page will be done. Um, so let's jump right in. Um, here's our categories page that's open from I have open from the last video. Um, so what I'm going to do here is at the very top here on, in our PHP tags but above the process form, I'm going to um, give myself a little space and we'll do the delete category section first because that's the easiest. And here I'm just going to need a simple if statement. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our if statement here. And what I want to do is if um, is set and not empty okay so if it's set and not empty what I want to do is check on both of those functions the dollar underscore get um, delete All right so it's going to check our git array which if we click on one of these uh, deletes we have this so that would be set um, it's set because it's got this delete here and it's not empty because it's equal to 6 or whatever um, that it, the ID happens to be. So if I look here now, um, that's where I'm getting that from. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is create our delete ID and that's going to be equal to, and we'll just cast this to an integer, uh, but it's going to be equal to dollar underscore get delete. So it's going to pull that, you know, it's going to pull that value from the URL because it's a get variable here. All right. So the next thing that I'll do just to um, for consistency and a little bit of security, we'll use our sanitize function on here and we'll just pass in delete ID. All right. So it's exactly the same as the last video. So now we just need to create our uh, DSQL for delete SQL. <laughs> we, we could do the SQL on this. I mean, we could redefine this. It, it really wouldn't matter because when it gets to this part of the page, if that's set, it's going to redirect anyway, and we're not going to be using it. But um, I'll just keep it like this, and you guys can do whatever you'd like. So what I want to do here is um, we're going to delete from, OK? and then categories and then we have to give it uh, conditional because if we don't it's going to delete everything from our categories table so where ID is equal to the delete ID that's it that's our SQL and so we actually need to execute that and that's easy we just use our DB object with our query method and we'll pass in that DSQL and then the last thing that we're going to do is do a header we'll set the location um, to categories.php okay so now if I reset my page here um, let's just add let's just delete this home decor here and uh, so home decor is gone now. So I'm going to add that back. Just go to GIFs, home decor. OK, and that works. One thing I didn't think of um, is what happens if we delete the um, parent here. If I do that, it does delete the parent. OK, and it just doesn't show. Okay, I was I was afraid that we would get some sort of undefined, but it just it's not going to show the the children of that if we delete that. So we have like an orphaned um, entry in our database, and you may want to handle that. Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to rebuild that. Um, that would be a good thing to add though, if you want some additional homework, is to do a check and make sure it's deleting. Uh, if if it's apparent, to go ahead and delete. Um, every child um, underneath that or um, 
give them an error and say, hey, you know, you have child elements underneath that, just so that you don't end up with orphaned, um, orphaned things in your database. So I'll just add that back. Um, but these are different IDs now than they were originally. So we do have extra, if I look at my database now, which this is not a very good thing to have, um, we do have, if you see, I have two home decor. And this one right here is actually an orphan. It's not going to be used for anything. I'll delete that just to clean it up. Um, but yeah, that would be a really good uh, extra credit homework project is to go ahead and look in this delete category and make some checks inside of there that if if it's parent, if it is a parent, to um, also delete um, everything. You know what? I'm just going to show that really quick, and I, and I haven't practiced this, so I might screw it up. But I think that's important to not leave orphan things in a database. So let's just go ahead and take care of that. Um, we need to actually set up an SQL statement here, and we're going to say um, select all from um, categories where um, let's see where ID is equal to delete ID that needs to be in single quotes and I need a semicolon here and then what we can do is we could say result equals um, we'll run that query SQL okay and then what I want to do is um, let's create um, let's just go ahead and create a category here so this is going to return the category. So category is equal to my, MySQLI fetch a sock. Um, and then I'll pass in result. So now we have that associative array of category that we can do some checks with. So what I can do is do an if statement here. So let's go ahead and say if if category Parent, and remember that what we want to do is see if that parent is equal to zero because if the parent is equal to zero we know that this is a parent category that we're trying to delete okay so <clears throat> what we want to do then is we want to delete we want to set up a new um, a new SQL inside of here and what we're going to do is say SQL is equal to delete from categories where parent is equal to delete ID and what that's going to do is delete all categories where the parent is equal to this delete ID um, so that's exactly what we want to do um, and then we have to actually execute that. So DB um, query method, and we'll just run that SQL. And then, so it's gonna if it's not equal to parent, it's only going it's gonna skip this whole deal here, and it's just gonna jump down and delete that from the categories. If the if it what we're trying to delete is a parent, it's gonna delete all the all of them from categories where the parent is equal to that ID. Uh, and then it's going to jump down and delete the actual parent and then it'll redirect. So that's how we do that. It's only a few lines of code. But let's just go ahead now and refresh the page. And this time I'm actually going to delete, um, we'll delete first just the home decor. So it's gone. Um, so let's add that back now. Um, and we'll give it gifts home decor. Okay. And hit add category. And so it's here now. And what I can actually do now is test this out. If I hit delete on the parent, it should not only just not show it, but if I look in a database now, um, 
you can see that I don't have home decor or gifts in this, which is exactly what we want. Now we won't have orphaned things in our database. So now if I did want to add a new parent, add that back because I do want to have that. Um, we'll do gifts, all right, and then we'll do home decor. All right, add, oh, Ooh, okay. <laughs> I forgot to change this when I added that, so um, no big deal. Let's just delete that home decor right there. Um, we, if I had already set up the um, the edit button, we could have edited that, but we don't have that going yet. So I just deleted it and I'll add it one more time. All right, you probably don't have to do that because you're not dumb, and I am. All right, so there we go. So now we can, now we are deleting and it is working correctly. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here after the deleting category and in the next video we'll go ahead and uh, edit the video. So I'll see you in the next video.